Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. This is just my typical workout since we can't go to the gym. And uh, I just worked out on my balcony. So I did 45 seconds of jump rope. Everything that I show you will be in real time. None of it is sped up except maybe the in-between with the dancing and all. But remember, if you don't have a jump rope, feel free to do jumping jacks or just jump in place is fine. Um, I'm doing everything in real time so that you guys can see how fast or slow I'm going and that way it gives me a little bit more time to explain the workouts, give you some alternatives, and also give you a chance to listen to your own music instead of, instead of listening to my voice the entire time. For my second workout, I did 20 sumo squats with a bicep curl, and I just get my feet greater than shoulder width apart, dip down so I can get it pretty deep, and then curl when I'm coming up. You want to keep your elbows tucked close to your body so that you're not swinging all over the place and maintain good posture. Don't allow the knees to come above the toes and keep those heels planted, ladies and gentlemen. Afterwards, I go straight into 15 straight leg deadlifts. You want your feet pointed straight, about shoulder width apart. You want to put a slight bend in your knees before starting and only bend at the waist when you're going down. Again, this is in real time, so you can go as fast as or as slow as you need to. The fourth workout are 15 flies or will be 15 flies. So this is a great workout for your shoulders, of course. And you want to put a slight bend in your elbow and just bring the weight straight out. I'm singing right there, so don't mind me. But um, this isn't meant to go super fast. And you can actually injure your shoulders if you try to do too heavy a weight. So I would also suggest a light weight. I also have a slight bend in my knees just to help with posture. There's only three rounds to this workout. So there's four exercises, three rounds. I will come back and talk with you guys when we get on our next set of workouts. But for now, you should be back to the 45 seconds of jump roping. This is also in real time just so that I can talk a little bit more. But feel free to pause the video as you need as I will not be talking through the entire video so that you guys can listen to your music. Focus on the workout, and then I'll come back to you on the next set of exercises when we start something new.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last set of exercises for that round. The next part of the routine will be three rounds of three exercises. And the same thing, I will talk completely through uh, the first round, and that will be in real time. And then I'll speed it up for time's sake and remember pause as you need and listen to your music and get in the groove. First workout will be 15 pulsating lunges, 15 on each leg. Okay, when we talk about lunges, we want to plant the foot. You see how I almost lost balance right there? So plant your feet, keep that heel on the ground, lift your toes if you're having trouble keeping that heel down, and do not allow your knee to go above your toes. So make sure your legs are spread far enough apart. Again, this is in real time time keep the back straight and just go straight down do not lean forward when you are lunging the next exercise will be 15 overhead press or shoulder presses and you just want to take the weight kettlebell dumbbell mid chest and lift straight over your head if you don't have great posture, this exercise will be easier if you're sitting down or kneeling down. But if you have good posture, standing up is just fine. The next exercise and final exercise for this set of exercises will be 15 kickbacks. Good for the glutes. I think I also added a fire hydrant in there for good measure. Remember, you can also hold these exercises for a little bit more tension. You can add ankle weights. I have on ankle weights. You don't have to use them, or you can use resistance bands. Okay, guys, we're about to start round two, so play your music and start to get in your groove. Remember, three rounds. Pause the video as necessary so that you won't feel obligated to take the same amount of time that I took for the video. Congratulations, you guys made it. 
So while I'm dancing in the video, I will be talking about the next set of exercises, which is just complete ab work. The next set's three rounds of three different ab workouts. And we're gonna start with my personal fave, some good old leg lifts, 20 of them. I kept my ankle weights on because again, this is just, I just happened to record this workout. This workout is something that I would do on a normal day since we don't have a gym. I also use the dumbbell as added weight so that my I don't move all over the mat. So you want to put your feet straight down. You can touch the ground or not if you want. With this exercise, go as slow as you need. There's no need to rush this workout. Also, if you find yourself not being able to do the 20 or the 15, just take breaks as necessary and finish when you can. The second workout will be those good old in and outs, 15 of them, they don't take very long and I don't do them super fast but I don't do them slow either, just enough to feel my muscles contract. And the final workout will be some good old weighted or non-weighted sit-ups. So again, try not to put your hand behind your neck and pull yourself up. In an effort to help that, I just put a weight out in front of me or you can put your hands out in front of you so you aren't tempted to grab on that neck and just sit straight up and back. You wanna do three rounds of this and then your workout will be complete. I do not show you guys any stretching in this video. Again, this is a typical me day so sorry i skipped out on the stretching all right round two is about to begin everything is sped up but i want you guys to get in the groove pause the video for each workout and let's activate those abs Congrats, y'all made it. And as we bring this workout to a close, don't forget to do those crunches though. Um, I have posted the entire workout at the end of this video. Um, so if you want to just take a snapshot or do the workout again or do half of it, feel free. It will be at the very end of this workout. Thank you guys so much for working out with me. This video will be posted on Wednesday for your pleasure. Don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you like this style of workout from me go ahead and let me know if you don't like it also let me know i'm open to change anything thank you guys